everybody welcome to joyous daughter of god my name is amy and today it is october 4th 2020 and i will be reading proverbs chapter 4 of one proverbs a day so if you're able to go ahead grab your bibles and turn with me to proverbs chapter 4 and i'm going to go ahead and open up in prayer Father God, I come before you in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, I thank you for another day that you have bestowed upon us. And Lord, I thank you for your mercies. And I thank you for your love and your grace and your forgiveness and your compassion and your kindness. Lord, I thank you for your chastisement as well. And Lord, I just pray, bless this video. And I pray that this video is pleasing unto you. And Lord, open up each and every heart and ear to receive the word that you have for us, Lord. And Lord, I just thank you for you. Holy Spirit, I pray, guide my words and the direction that Abba wants them to go. And Holy Spirit, I pray that they hear you speaking and not me. For allow myself to decrease so that your word may increase and go forth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and thank you. Amen. Okay, so Proverbs chapter 4. Security and wisdom. Hear, my children, the instruction of a father, and give attention to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. Do not forsake my law. When I was my father's son, tender and the only one in the sight of my mother he also taught me and said to me let your heart retain my words keep my commands and live get wisdom get understanding do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth do not forsake her and she will preserve you love her and she will keep you Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all you're getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory she will deliver to you. Hear my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in right paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. hindered. And when you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they do not sleep unless they have done evil. And their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter until the perfect day. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence. For out of it spring the issues of life. Put away from you a deceitful mouth and put perverse lips far from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead, and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet, and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. So that ended chapter 4. But I want 
to read verses I'm just going to go ahead and read it once again and allow Holy Spirit to just teach us and allow the Lord's Word to just become alive because there is so much where I could give my say so and my opinion on this but allow us to hear God speaking to us through his word and allow us to really just take hold of it allow it to be written upon our heart remember allow us to bind his truths around our neck so we can carry them with us wherever we go and allow us to truly realize the importance of wisdom. So I'm going to read it again. Proverbs chapter 4. Hear my children the instruction of a father. And give attention to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. Do not forsake my law. When I was my fa father's son tender and the only one in the sight of my mother he also taught me and said to me let your heart retain my words keep my commands and live get wisdom get understanding do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth do not forsake her and she will preserve you love her and she will keep you Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory she will deliver to you. Hear my son and receive my sayings. And the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in right paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. And when you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked. And do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn away from it and pass on, for they do not sleep unless they have done evil, and their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence. For out of it spring the issues of life. Put away from you a deceitful mouth and put perverse lips far from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. And this concludes the reading of Proverbs chapter 1 of one Proverbs a day. Father God, I come before you in the name of your son, Jesus. And Lord, I thank you for your word that you have given to us today. And Lord, I just ask that we hold it near and dear to our heart and that we take the instructions and that we really take heed to them, Lord. Allow us to gain more wisdom and understanding for we need it in the times that we are in. Lord, allow our feet to stay on the feet let, allow our feet to stay on the paths of righteousness. Allow us not to go to the left nor to the right, but stay straight ahead and allow our eyes to be continuously looking upon you, Lord. Allow us to stay on that narrow path 
to, that leads to the narrow gate. And Lord, when we start to cross over to the wide path, Holy Spirit, convict us so that we can go back to the path that we are meant to stay on. And that is the narrow path that leads to the narrow gate that leads to you, Lord. And I just thank you for this time that you have given to us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and thank you. Amen. All right, well, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day, evening, morning. Take care. Bye.